What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. It's super early, it's like 6 a.m. right now, it's still dark outside, but I just wanna give a quick shout out to Radial Tire in Maryland. I had a screw in this tire, uh, they replaced it yesterday right before closing, so huge shout out to all the guys that stuck around and got this tire on for me, because without it, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing today. Taking out the trash. No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, calm down. I, uh, I do quickly want to apologize to all my neighbors. I don't know why I was whispering earlier because, well, the car probably woke them. <laughs> Either way, we're heading out now at 6 a.m. We're heading up to Interstate Motorsport for their cars and coffee, which is, yes, all the way in New Jersey, but it's okay, guys. We got the assets, so it should be a fun drive. Oh, good morning, guys. channel welcome back to the vlog we are heading up to interstate motorsports what a way to start the day This is our time to shine. Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. Wait for it, wait for it. Super quick fuel stop. Let's roll. We got that ice warning. That's right guys, it's 32 outside. It said it's supposed to be a high of 57. I don't know what it's supposed to be in New Jersey, so we shall see. Either way, it should be fairly nice outside. I'm pretty excited. Interstate Motorsports. Let's roll. Well, it looks it looks like we're finally there. 840. Took us, I don't know, two and a half hours, I think. But uh, Interstate Motors. Yes, here we are. Ah, about time. That was a, a long, long drive. We finally made it though. Oof, listen to that diesel. Interstate Motorsport. They have a uh, Ford GT over in that garage bay we should go check out, but this thing is sick. This Hummer is insanely clean. I was just told it's a 2,000 with 28,000 miles on it. But check out this interior. I don't know if they've reupholstered this, but it looks incredible. The paint looks incredible as well. Love that it's just like blacked out with the fuel, fuel wheels. That 6.5 liter turbo diesel. You can see the crazy ground clearance on these things.
Dang, so this thing actually has an engine and supposedly does like 70 miles an hour. That's absolutely nuts. I mean, you can literally, it's like as wide as a Diablo basically in length. This is an awesome setup they have here. They basically have a full upstairs is all of the, uh, the like clubhouse area and it overlooks the cars all behind that wall. And then there's all of the, uh, the newer cars that we saw, like the Ferraris, the Lambos, the GTRs, Aston Martins are behind that wall. But the whole clubhouse is that area. And then there's some like rails that overlook everything. Um, he said this used to be like an old paddle ball place or something that they redid. Obviously you can see they have the service bays here. And then on the other side of this, there's like a wash bay and stuff. But I uh, just want to say thank you, Steve. This is awesome. This is absolutely incredible. It was cool to walk around up here because I see it all the time on Instagram. But, uh, and if we pop out here, we have the, uh, the parking lot. We got the 2000 H1 Hummer. We got Brothers Wood Fired Pizza, the bull out front. That's the wash bay over there. We're going to get all the cars parked up out here. GTR coming out. We got the Aston all the way down there. This place is pretty, pretty sweet. We got the two GTRs coming out right now. Love that. The white with the red wheels looks awesome. We have the blacked out one right next to it. The gated Murcielago. Diablo right in front of it. And then the Countach in front of that. And then you got the SV Aventador following up in the rear. That Ferrari sounds awesome. You gotta love the NA458s. Whatever exhaust is on that thing, nailed it. F12 Berlinetta and the 488 piece the spider all of the carbon fiber on the back of these things is just So gorgeous you got carbon fiber there the whole this diffusers carbon fiber the rain lights carbon fiber You got the air intakes on the side that are carbon fiber You got the uh, handles. I think those are actually wrapped but uh, the whole uh, side sill here carbon fiber You got the carbon fiber center insert there These cars look gorgeous in red too. You got the carbon fiber spoiler Carbon fiber rain light, carbon fiber hole diffuser down there. Yellow Ferrari, don't see those too often. Everything else pretty much white, red, or black. Love it. Another 458. Second Lambo to arrive, we have an Urus coming in. These wheels on these cars are just so massive. The brakes, absolutely insane. Second Huracan coming in, and a Ducati. Two Italians. Those things sound so good. The Terminoni exhaust. Single side swing arm.
Second pista. First Viper coming in. I think that's the first Evo Spider I've seen. The gray with the orange accents on this. You can see the stitching in the seats. You got the orange calibers. Great color combo. Another Evo Spider. Looks like it. We got four Huracan Evos, three of which are Spiders, and then a 2016 Huracan here. The V10s are out in full force. No V12s though. Unfortunately, the uh, the SVs inside. Check out this Polaris slingshot. I love all the accents on this, the red, and that like acid green. That's pretty wild. I don't know if that's real carbon fiber or not, but that is awesome. Look at this dog. Wow, how do you even fit in there? <laughs> oh man. That thing's crazy. <laughs> I think the exhaust tip's sticking out. Montana tags. <laughs> uh. All right, the Lambo golf cart. Yep. The only way to get around a real car is coffee. <laughs> I know. Around on this. Got the glamour shots. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it was right on. Got another Huracan. No Aventadors yet. Yeah, yeah just Steve. They're, they're going to come around 11. Ah, the Lambros. Got another Huracan coming in right now. Apparently there's a couple of Aventadors coming in like 20 minutes or so. But I guess until then we'll enjoy the V10s. Yeah. First I8. That is sick. All of the carbon fiber parts, that exhaust sounds incredible. Gloss black wheels. I get this not Mansory, it says Abushi? No idea what that is. I still think that the front looks like March Madness brackets. That dog <laughs> came in that Ford GT. Apparently goes for lots of rides in cars. The owner has a, a couple Lambos. Apparently has a Ferrari FXX K Evo. 
And so the dog's name is Evo. That is wild. Dog hears the cars fire up and he says he goes running to the cars. The C8 with that blue interior, absolutely gorgeous. Love that spec. 911 Carrera T. Dang, this is a Mantry Huracan? All the forged carbon on this thing. Absolutely sick. Check this thing out. This is awesome. It's an old Ford Model A, I think. We got an AMG SLS coming in here. This is sick. Doors that go up. First car, actually. There's no Aventadors and no McLarens here. It's a ton of Ferraris and Lambos, but no McLarens. Ford Model A. This is crazy. So you get the, the bench seat up here. And the back pops up, so you can actually fit passengers in the back with no roof. That's pretty sweet. I don't think I've ever really seen one of these up, up close. This is quite a spec. I don't know what color this is, but it looks orange. Sounds incredible, and that orange. Very, very unique spec there. at 4.30. Here come the V12s. That like acid green SVJ, a white SVJ. A new 4GT. These things are over a million dollars these days. Jeez. Wow. Two SVJs, a Paris. This thing sounded sing. And a 4GT. Wow. Not even on Montana plates. Good for him. Carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber options, uh, like the eight pillars there. Those Brembo brakes, the carbon ceramics with the carbon wheels. This is just nuts. You get like the purple tint on the exhaust. You got the uh, the orange streaks that match the car. You can hear the SVJs in the background. After the uh, 2020 Ford GT came in, no one's down here. Look at the AMG, the carbon fiber in the center, the red seats, the gold wing doors. Such a classic. We got a third Ford GT. Steve had a 4 GT inside. There's a black 4 GT and then obviously the new, uh, I guess it's a 2020, I think, 4 GT. These things are going for over a million dollars right now. These things have shot up in value. They're like, I don't know, 300 to 400,000 a piece.
That was sick. See you later, Evo. So he has an FXXK Evo Ferrari. He's a Ferrari factory driver or something. I don't know what else he does, but either way, that's his daily driver, that Ford GT. And that dog loves driving in them. I bet this car is a ton of fun. This Abarth has a light bar on the front. You got hood vents, and then you have the full like cage manual. Look at that thing. It's the uh, like, what is that? A hydraulic clutch or something like that? I don't even know, but either way, this thing looks sick. You got the racing seats, racing harnesses. That's pretty wild. Got a black 360 Monono with a gated six speed and the Daytona black and red two-tone seats. That's pretty, pretty neat. Just uh, heading to my car, walking behind a Huracan Evo Spider. Love the uh, red accents along the sort of like the edges of the rear diffuser and back bumper and stuff. Ooh, there we go. I think this is a C63 Black Series. Carbon fiber wing. Not a bad lineup heading out here. We got a Turbo, we got an XK, we got a C8 Corvette. I think that's an M3 up there. M3 swinging it. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be doing that because we have another C7 and the Huracan Evo. Well, we are heading out now. But uh, I just want to say again, Interstate Motorsport, Steve, uh, thank you so much. Hospitality was amazing. The turnout here was fantastic. Two SVJ Roadsters, a new Gen 4 GT, two older Gen 4 GTs. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Super fun time, amazing cars. Uh, huge lineup of Ferraris, Lamborghinis down there, and it was awesome seeing inside of, uh, I guess, the whole setup that you have. You got a little clubhouse upstairs with like a pool table, lounge area, overlooks all your cars. So, super cool to come out today. Really neat experience. Thank you so much. Oof, definitely worth the two and a half hour drive from Maryland. So, we are heading out. We're heading back down. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. would really appreciate it. But, uh, let's roll. What? Another 4 GT? This is crazy. Three older gen 4 GTs. That's wild. They have an absolutely gorgeous blue. I think it's an M4 behind us. just on the highway. <laughs> It's a 458. There he is. 458 Spider, not too shabby. The F Type S. The downshift burbles sound pretty good. And he's got a radar detector. Might have to cruise with him for a little bit. Hey, we got a uh, Camaro behind us for the, uh, the tunnel run. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is ridiculously loud. The Camaro, the Camaro is trying to like rev his engine right now. You can't even hear him. <laughs> S 
that's I think that's pretty much gonna be it. We had some tunnel fun. We got some bridges here. The tunnel's much better, obviously. But uh, fantastic day. One uh, Interstate Excellent. Motorsports. Thank you so much. Fantastic cars and coffee. Uh, Steve, you're an awesome host. Thank you so much for taking me through the little like clubhouse and stuff like that. Really cool facility you have there. So um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Really appreciate it. And I guess until next time, uh, thank you so much. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.